My name is Alex McMillan. I'm one of the Marie Curie PhD students here at Elvisys, and I'm part of a joint European Union project called PhotoTrain. PhotoTrain is a photochemistry and microfluidics project that's comprised of 14 different PhD students from all over Europe. And at, our, at the very core, we're trying to turn light into usable products, whether the products are pharmaceuticals, um, food products, or renewable energies. We could call this process artificial photosynthesis, which obviously takes inspiration from the photosynthetic processes we find in nature. Conventional chemical processes that have been used for decades consist mainly of a series of heating and mixing steps in large reactors that we call batch reactors. And this results in high energy consumption and high material usage as well as waste. And this is where photochemistry and microfluidics could play a role using light to power reactions instead of using heat gives us the possibility to unlock new chemical pathways to either synthesize the same products or even new products with fewer steps and more efficiency. And it can even allow us to use the light from the sun to generate renewable energies that could be stored. Microfluidics, on the other hand, allows us to perform these reactions on micrometer scales in tiny channels carved into small chips made of glass or plastic, for example. This allows us to very precisely control and precisely monitor any reaction that's happening inside of them, which can give way to more efficient reactions and less waste. By coupling photochemistry with microfluidics, we really have the possibility of potentially redefining the way that chemistry is performed and hopefully making a large step toward a more sustainable future. I'd say my favorite thing about the PhotoTrain project in the time that I've been here so far is the collaborative aspect of it. So while this gives us the opportunity to kind of travel around and meet the other 14 researchers and institutions, um, I really find it exciting the fact that we can kind of connect between different knowledge bases, um, backgrounds, and specializations since we're all coming from different areas. I myself, I'm working with microfluidics, come from an engineering background. A lot of my colleagues are chemists. And there's a lot I can learn from them, and I think that there's a lot that they can learn from me.